Welcome back into another episode of NA Now. I'm Brandon Hofstra, joined here with Lane Sedevede, head coach of the Bismarck Bobcats. Coach, thanks for joining us. Um, looking back at last season, a bit of an up and down year, but you guys finished strong, won your final six games of the year, and just missed out on the postseason. How would you describe last year with the Bobcats? Well, I mean, I think it was uh, pretty similar to the year before. Um, you know, our start, our first half of the season has been uh, has been what uh, has ailed us, and you know, the for the last two years, we've been you know the best team in the league in 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 the division. Uh, the second half, but you know, the year before it was uh, it was one of those comebacks that uh, we thought maybe we could do it again, and and uh, you know we did everything we could this year. Um, you know, I don't know, man play a team six times at the end of the season and, and go six and oh you think you 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 have a chance and and we did that and I didn't think it was actually possible but um you know we didn't have the tiebreaker so um you know to me it's just we we have to have a better start I think our starts are are what has really troubled us the last two seasons yeah and this completely goes right into the uh to what you just said the last few seasons you guys had a slow start and then basically we're playing playoff hockey right after the holiday break how important is it to get off to a good start in the season so you're not playing catch up the rest of the year? Well, I think it's to me, it's just more consistency. I mean, it's you know, I think we've had some, you know, somewhat of younger teams. Um, and I think it's ta- it's taken them some time to to get adjusted to this league. I mean, this league is tough, it's hard. Um, and I think there's that adjustment period for a lot of young players that um, you know, we we start to to really figure it out. Uh uh, come Christmas time and and you know I think that's why you've seen the at least for us this the second half push and um yeah I think so you know when you're looking at building your the makeup of your team and all that sort of stuff I think that's some of the stuff we try to consider you know it, it, it does help you know having a good amount of returners back this year as well which which is nice but um you know with your tenders and drafts uh, trying to get some of that uh some more of that veteran presence I think is a is a big thing but I mean I, I think it's you know it's you got to have consistency throughout the year. Not only do you want to start um, start well, but you want to be playing the right brand of hockey come the most important time of the year. And if, if you don't start well and you're not consistent all year long, you're not you're not in the mix for um, you know the Robertson Cup. So I think it's a it's kind of a culmination of everything. Um, but I, I I think consistency's got to be better. Definitely, Wayne. You've been in this league quite some time. You've helped hundreds of kids reach their NCAA goals. Does that ever get old? No, it's the best part. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's the reason why I'm still doing this after, you know, 15 years, um, in, in this league, I think this league has developed to a, um, you know, a powerhouse. It's, uh, the college is respected. I think it's, um, it, it's really turned into a great spot. And I don't just say that in Bismarck, I think the league as a whole has done a fantastic job to, you know, everybody in the office and, and you guys there and, and, and Mark as a commissioner, it's just, uh, it, it's a, it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's it's really cool to see where we've started to where we are now um but as far as the commitments go i mean you look at it as a whole um you know the teams are doing a, a fantastic job and i mean that's what really keeps you know i i would say probably every coach at this level um that that have been here for a long time it's it's the uh, it's the best part it's um it's what you know the sacrifice that goes in the kids and parents and everything that that's involved is um you know, it really comes full circle when they when they find that home at the college uh, college level. Uh, next season, right around the corner in about a month, uh, who are some of these returners you have coming back for the Bobcats this season? Yeah, I mean, I think when you really look at uh, probably you know our our, our foundation, um, you know, we have we have some guys that are going to be going on their fourth seasons with us, and and Patrick Johnson obviously uh, is a, is a guy up front that um, you know be his third year as a as a captain for me. Um, you know, 50 point guy last year, he's proven he can do it. He's, um, really when you, when you think about, uh, when I think about what, what I want in our locker room, um, you know, he's the guy that, uh, on the ice, off the ice, our community supports us so well. And he's a guy that represents this team better, um, no better, uh, person, um, in, in my mind than Patrick to do that. So, um, you know, and then I think there's, you know, there's obviously other guys up front too, Evan Hunter, um, Julian Beaumont, um, Brandon Reller, um, you know, Kyle Dahl, Nolan Nino, there's some good, there's some good, uh, guys up front. And then, um, you know, another guy that's going to be his fourth season with us is Chase Beacom, another captain, mm-hmm. um, you know, Luke Roloff, um, Ian Engel, 
uh, Landon Fandel. There's a, there's a really good group of returners coming back. And, uh, you know, I think we've done a nice job. Um, you know, Lenards comes back in the net. Um, and we've done a really good job surrounding that group with, with other guys that, you know, are veterans and, and, and are going to compete and, 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 you know, play, uh, I mean, that's what you're, that's what you're looking for really. I think when you're, when you're building a team is not only your veteran leadership, but, uh, to really push those guys. And, uh, I think that's where you get a really quality product. We kind of mentioned this at the beginning. The central division is an absolute grind all season long, especially last year. Uh, how do you get the best from your guys night in and night out? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's, it, you know, I think you have to have a feel for it. Um, you know, I think it's, it's a long season. Yeah. And uh, our division was way too close last year. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm sure the fans and everybody that, you know, was a part of watching it uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. But, um, I mean, it's, uh, you know, we were porting, you know, um, very shortly. And, um, you know, so it's one of those things where it, it's seven months. And I think it's it's a lot about knowing your personnel and knowing your team and, and when to push. And, um, yeah, I think that's a very, uh, I think it's it, for a coach, yeah, I think you're always learning too. And I think that's that's something for myself, um, just knowing the right right spots and, and, and when to be hard on guys and when to, you know, I think, I think you got to show them, um, you got to show them that, that love too. And I think that's a, that's a big key um, in coaching. Now if you, they got to respect you. And that's, that's a, that's a big thing because it is a long season and you are hard on your guys and um, you know, to get the best out of them, I think you have to, it has to be a two way street. Mm-hmm. The NHL showcase is right around the corner. Um, as someone who's been there quite a few times, what do you think sets this apart from other exposure events? Man, I don't know. I mean, I, I know I get asked this question every year, but um, it's just something I look forward to. Um, I don't know. You walk into the building and, and you know, I mean, I grew up playing the game and, and grew up grew up watching, um, you know, the Bobcats here. But, you know, I think from what it started to to walk in now, just to, you know, it's my, my mom goes every year. I mean, it's cool. for a hockey fan, it, you, you, you bump shoulders with NHL every NHL scout, every division one school, every D three school. I mean, it's just, uh, I think when, you know, when you look from where the league started to where it is now, to me, that's really what the showcase is about and how successful the league has been and, and, and putting on that event in in four days, the amount of people that are in there, not only, um, you know, with just our league, but, um, you know, the NAP stuff going on, the amount of the amount of traffic that's that's through that building in four days is is truly remarkable. Um, and, and the event is run, um, you know, almost to perfection now. Um, you know, I think there's been a maybe there's been some growing pains over the years, but um, to me, it's just uh, it's what I look forward to every year. You see a lot of friends, and and um, you know, not many times do you get all those um all those those hockey minds in 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 one building to watch your product and that's that's the coolest part i agree one last one for you kind of a fun one <clears throat> in a royal rumble of the central division mascots why does scratch come out on top uh i mean i think you know really when you think about it <laughs> uh, you know i think you know maybe i guess maybe mine it would have an edge but scratch is pretty old i mean this this cat's got a lot of wisdom, um, mm-hmm. been around 25, 26 years. He's seen it all. I mean, we don't even know where he is half the time. My daughter is, uh, you know, um, I tell her he sleeps in, in the zoo and then, uh, you know, Friday, Saturday night, he's, he's let out and, and he's yeah. ready to, to get the fans of Bismarck Mandan and all surrounding communities ready to go. So uh, <laughs> I think it's the wisdom that, that, uh, that scratch has that, um, you know, is going to, going to take on any mascot there is in the league and that's a challenge cats have nine lives right 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 on all right lane we appreciate you doing this good luck this season we'll see you soon all right thank you